long summer. An awesome summer, but long with work. And I love what I do, don't get me wrong, but it's given me no opportunity to get outside, to get out in the woods. And this weekend, I have the paddles out and the canoe out, enjoying a little bit of on, on the water time. Trail time underfoot is coming pretty soon. Fall is approaching. And I'm back. ago um, a woman named Debbie Siros contacted me and she owns a company called Outdoor Pantry and it's a newer entry from my knowledge into the freeze-dried backpacking meals world to follow suit with Mountain House and Packet Gourmet those kinds of things she rented my channel asked if I'd be willing to try out a few of the different meals and maybe give some opinions on what I thought. So, I looked through their menu, I looked through their website, and the cool part about Debbie is she did the Pacific Coast Trail, the PCT in 2016, so she knows what it's like to put on miles on the trail and have food that needs to be nutrient dense and calorie rich for long days on the trail. So, a few weeks ago I got a few in the mail and I'm gonna try one of the offerings here today and just kinda give you my thoughts, see if it's, uh, wonderful if it's okay or if it's not so good so <laughs> uh. and the one I decided to try on this trip is something I thought sounded just awesome Cuban chicken and lime rice bowl now it's a single serving pack and the packaging is it's pretty basic freeze-dried vacuum sealed packaging and from what I understand three quarters of cup of hot water mix right in the bag seal it up let it steep and it should provide a pretty damn good meal it sounds tasty chicken black beans jasmine rice broth mango cumin oregano lime orange onion paprika it's got so much stuff in it it sounds awesome so let's get it hydrated up and, and give her a test I love trying new things. I'm always looking for different taste combinations while you're out in the woods. Camp meals and, and hiking meals don't have to be boring. With all the new companies coming out, man, there's, there's some good stuff out there. You remove the little, the little desiccant pack here. It's, it's packed pretty tightly in there. Three quarter cup. So, I don't have a measuring glass, but my my tokes has a little measurement in there, so. sit for five minutes and let it get happy.
It's got a few more minutes left to get that food ready. So what have I been up to? I've been absent for a little while. Well, in the summertime, I have four jobs and it all centers around beach volleyball. I know, I'm short and fat, I get it. <laughs> but it, it basically, my day start at five in the morning, I wake up at four and get to bed at about 11.30, you know, evenings, weekends, days, it's just crazy. But that job, jobs is what allows me to have so much time off in the fall and in the winter. So a lot of trips coming up, not only this fall over the winter, but some coming in the spring too. Now this last spring of 2019, late May into early June, I went to Iceland. Awesome time. I mentioned that uh, in one of my videos before. I did not end up fil filming anything. I was with a group of people that just kind of want to enjoy it for its enjoyment's sake. Had a couple of photographers on the trip and you know, with me filming and being such a perfectionist, I'd be walking back and forth, making people walk, and they didn't want any part of it. I don't blame them, so I just enjoyed it. Took a lot of great pictures, and I posted those on my Instagram account. So if you want to check out my Iceland trip through photos, I'll leave a link down in the description of my, of my Instagram account. But now it's time to kick back, enjoy some of my time, and get out more in the woods and bring you more videos. Got a lot of gear reviews coming up. Let's eat. my partner in crime Cassandroid over here Sup. and she's the one who wanted to try the Cuban chicken lime rice bowl so we're gonna get her her opinion on it as well I hope it's good so I followed the instructions I'm gonna give you first taste fantastic it smells delicious very limey it smells very good not too watery, which I like. I followed it exactly. Three quarters of a cup of boiling water. That's pretty good. Yeah? Simple. It's a tad less flavorful than I was expecting, but it's not dull. Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in there a little bit. I thought it was gonna be a little spicier. That's it. Otherwise, it's great. Rehydrated perfectly. I can taste the lime, the black bean, and that hint of sweetness from the mango. There's mango in here. I like that. It's got good texture. I'll tell you something. This is really good. This is a, a really, really welcome change to the everyday chili mac and beef stews and all that kind of stuff. It, yeah. This is this is pretty good. I I dig this. I would bring this out on the trail. The packaging is very small. It's lightweight because it's you know freeze dried essentially. I definitely like it more than a lot of the Mountain House meals I've had. Not to bash Mountain House. That is excellent. Now, Debbie did send me a few other flavors, and I'll try those in my upcoming trips. But for now, if you're looking at Outdoor Pantry, hop on their website, outdoorpantry.com. Try that Cuban lime chicken. That's, kind of mango that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's a lot of nice flavor with the mango. Yeah, I dig it. Now, Outdoor Pantry did send me these meals for free, and they asked me to do a, a little bit of thoughts and stuff on it. So... Uh, you know, I'm not being paid or anything, but it's pretty good. If it wasn't good, I would tell you. Yeah. 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 Now, I would say if it was a little spicier, that would be good. But I would pack this for sure. If you want information on Outdoor Pantry, 
shop on their website, OutdoorPantry.com. I'll leave a link to their website down in the description below along with the direct link for this particular meal. Man, I like it. If you have any questions about any of this kind of stuff, leave those questions in the comment area below. I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you stopping by. Man, see you on the next one.